Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Um, we found a secret passage and now we're going to see what lies at the end of the tunnel. And if you guys like this video or this series, then please give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel for more. Please not a boss battle, please not a boss battle, please not a boss battle, please not a boss battle. Oh my God. What? Excuse me? So it does lead lead to the surface. I'm so glad it wasn't a boss battle. Isn't this Matter Park? If so, we're not far from City Hall. Oh my god, this is lovely. Ah, that's where the music's coming from. Haha, <laughs> who would have guessed that those underground tones would bit us out somewhere like this. The layouts remained unchanged since. It was created during the Dark Ages. You can really feel the city's history. It seems like the network of passages here is even bigger than Barhead's underground waterway. Yeah. Hey, Elliot. Is something wrong? Oh, sorry. I was listening to the Sonetta. Then I realized that the musicians playing it over there are actually friends of mine. They look like students. Hmm. They seem especially skilled for their age. Oh, they are. I'm really proud to know them. Um, would you guys mind if I went over and said hi? No sweat, go ahead. Perhaps we should go and greet them too. Please don't let this be awkward for him. I, I bet we can't switch back until the game probably tells me. Oh, Rain's back in the party. It is a really nice park out here. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. And in that last battle, all, all these freaking... Gelatos and ice creams I got during all the missions, they really helped me out. Wait. Elliot? Elliot, you're back! Hey, great to see you again, Morris. You too, Ron Velika? Feels like forever since we since you've been around. Hehe, <laughs> seems like you're doing well. So who are your friends? We're Elliot's classmates in Thor military from Thor's military academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. It seems we're all about the same age too. So you're Elliot's hometown friends then? Which school uniform is that? Oh, we're students of the Music Academy. Music, huh? Yeah, it's an academy that puts the main focus on music. The school itself is on the outskirts of this district. A lot of famous musicians have graduated from there. Well, that explains why you all play so well. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Our academy always plays for the concert they hold during the summer festival every year. Classes all over are over for the day, so we're just adding a little polish before our performance. Oh right, this does seem like the perfect place to practice. Oh yeah, I can't believe how good you've all gotten though. I mean, you were always great, but you improved a ton. You must have really been practicing. You, you really think so? Well, we have been practicing. I'm practically hearing the songs in my sleep now. Hehe, <laughs> so true. I guess I'd be pretty disappointed if after all that, we weren't getting at least a little better. I just wish you were here at the music academy with us. Um... Oh, don't misunderstand. Thor's has a really good reputation and all. So are you still practicing the violin? Yeah, in club practice. I end up joining the Academy's wind orchestra, actually. I'm glad to hear that. You are really good. I hate to hear you giving it up. Hopefully we, we get another chance to play together someday. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Uh, yeah, you. I, I can tell what's going on here. So he had to give up his dream of being a musician um, to do something because you know how pro this is what probably happened his parents probably didn't agree with him being musician. They're like that's not a real job you know something like that and we're like you're gonna go and be a soldier you're going to this academy you're gonna go get a real job that's probably what happened and now he he does it more as a hobby than actually pursuing a career in music that's what i'm getting from this Whoa, is that time already? We better get on the back of the academy. The festival will be here before you know it. And we got, we've got practicing to do. I do admire your dedication to your craft. 
If you've got some free time, it would be great if you can come and see us perform in concert. That goes for all of you. The more the merrier. Thanks. Looking forward to it. See you later, Elliot. Alright, later. Hey, they're all staring. I'm like, mm, Elliot, we would like to ask you a question. That's their faces right now. Hey, are you? Huh, no, it's not that. Anyway, how about we swing by the hotel and give our report, then head back to the house. This is probably busy cooking up a storm right about now. Okay, let's be off then. You can tell they're concerned. They're like, um, I'm getting the feeling he doesn't want to be here. Oh, thank you. I need as much as that as possible. Ah, the nightlife. That night, after enjoying a wonderful meal prepared by Fiona, we were invited to Elliot's room. Yeah, just like I thought, there's none but music instruments in there. Oh, well, incredible. I uh, spoke over to you, my bad. He could open a shop with all the instruments here. He probably a could. piano, violins, wind instruments, a robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all sheet music. There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> He's like, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. You know, my mom was a pretty famous pianist. Being raised around music like that, my sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. Still, why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? <laughs> yeah, she's asking the real question. She goes, why didn't you go to a music academy and he said why did you go oh no why did you go to a military academy instead of a music academy like your friends or like what's stopping you wait fee that's not <laughs> don't worry about it i'm sure this comes as no surprise but i'd originally planned to attend the music academy oh <sighs> My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. Dad was more the strong, stoic type. He didn't know much about music, but he was head over heels in love with her. Our home was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. But seven years ago, mom got really ill. Eventually, she passed away. No! I was wondering why I hadn't seen the mom yet. I thought maybe that she was like off, like off in the city somewhere, but she's dead. Why? Why are everyone's parents in here dead? Elisa's dad died. Elliot's mom died. Everyone's parents are dead. Reed's parents are probably dead somewhere. Either that, or they're gone, wherever the hell they went. Like, good God. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the music academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Okay. Naturally, I tried to do the same, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. It's one thing to have it as a hobby, but the idea of a man of the Empire making his living through music is absurd. What? So it's basically just what I thought. Like, he was like, that's not a real job. Plus, you're a boy. He was like, you can't do this. But he lets the sister do it? Like, that's sexist as hell. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. 
Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. I had to give up my dream of attending the music academy. I hated him for it. I really did. I'm no good at fighting, never have been. I'd get smoked in a real war. But after some research, I found one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of music-related classes, and that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, ah. he went halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. So he found a loophole. He was like, oh, fine. I'll go to Mary Academy, but I'm not going there to be a freaking soldier. I'm going to go there to be a freaking musician, and I'm going to graduate as a fucking musician, dad. He's like, fine, as long as you go to the military academy, you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> kind of pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the academy. Then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield. But I couldn't go against my dad. For a while, I started to think that maybe my passion for music had kind of cooled off. But I'm still full of regrets about the music academy and the summer festival concert, so... I guess it hasn't after all. Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. So that's how you ended up at Thor's. I had no idea. <sighs> Do you regret it? Coming to Thor's and all? Huh? Of course not. Why would I? Huh? So you don't? Life at the Academy keeps me busy, but I still have time to perform with the Wind Orchestra after class is out. And I feel like I really broaden my horizons every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the Music Academy without much thought. Hmm, that's a very positive way to look at this. It's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want without someone deciding for me. Elliot, wow, you've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> I wish I thought so too. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the music academy putting their heart and soul into their music. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? I'd regret that way more. Aw, he's say so that sweet. With a straight face. <laughs> exactly. He's, he's such a sweet his... boy. I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. <laughs> I'd figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. You're the last person who should be saying that, Reen. Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. Oh? What is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friends said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it, and my sister played in it five years ago too. Oh, uh, so he wants to play in it. He's just like, I want my time to be on that stage one day. But he's like, most likely it's probably never going to happen. That's why he's like, that's my biggest regret. I will never get that opportunity like my friends and family got to. So I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day too. Afterward, Elliot decided to take the opportunity to spend the night at home, so the remaining four of us began to make our way to the old guild building where we'd be spending the night. Why does she look so serious? Well, she's got something to say. I can't believe it's already past nine. We ended up staying at Ellis longer than I thought. Yeah, I wasn't expecting her to break out the coffee after our meal. She's even invited us back for breakfast tomorrow. I've already been here a day and she's already my favorite person. Well, we'll have to thank her properly at some point. Still, you know, 
I've lived here all my life, but it's only now that I'm running around doing field studies tasks that I'm realizing just how big this city is. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I bet. They look like they're thinking really hard in the background. They're just going to slip tomorrow's task into the Gill's mailbox, right? Yeah, they should be delivered first thing tomorrow morning. Considering how organized my father is, I don't doubt they'll be delivered on time, though I do worry what we're in for. I have this terrible feeling he'll put us to task far more difficult than we can actually handle or something. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. All the more reason we should finish up our report and hit the sack early, I suppose. <laughs> what is with this? They just look so pissed. Like, what is going on? Hey, what's wrong, you two? You tired or something? You've been awfully quiet. No, not really. However, listen to Elliot has finally shown me what I must do. What? Hugger? Fee, I challenge you to a duel. What? Okay. Tonight, right? Yes, tonight. I fear won't be able to sleep until this has been resolved. Ho hold on a minute. Where did this come from? A duel? What are you talking about? Exactly what it sounds like. Fee and I will face each other in a single come to determine a victor. That's all. Oh, that's all. Are you kidding me? Well, you can't do it in a popular area like this, especially not at night. You wake the whole neighborhood. How about that park we were at earlier? Mater Park, I think. That seems an idea venue. The area around the exit from the underground pass should be nice and quiet. Well, that does doesn't sound too bad. But honestly, Ring, you're not just not just going along with this, are you? Oh, shush it. The capital might have heady nightlife, but there's no excuse to cause a commotion. Bah! Haha, <laughs> alright, let's head over to the park then. The trams are still running, right? They run until around 11. Are we seriously doing this? Yes, we're seriously doing this. I'm getting on a tram. <laughs> there's only one option. Can't go anywhere else. There's still people here. Are they going to be watching? The park scenery has an almost mystical air at night. It's nice. <laughs> You're in luck. Not too many people are taking a leisure stroll at this hour. Okay, this may be true, but this is still the capital. You really shouldn't be fighting here. <sighs> How'd it come to this? Put a sock in it, Machias. I apologize for burning you with this, but I appreciate you keeping watch. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Anyway, let's move over to that gazebo and came out of earlier. Can I go like inside that glass building? I didn't try oh, before. What a pleasant evening. It's pretty relaxing. No denying those two have some surprising similarities. It's locked. What a shame. You might want to keep those thoughts to yourself. Fee, I'm begging you, please don't cause any trouble here. Here, she's gonna put some explosives on the door. Where are you, Gazebo? No, it's not over there. Okay, it's over here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see I don't any see people in this part of the park. Oh. I'm fine with here if you are. Ugh. All right, Fee. Here are my conditions. If I win this duel, I want you to tell me about your past. Your personal history. At first, there was something about your strength that I couldn't bring myself to accept. From the moment we first met, I could tell you were holding back. And considering your build, your combat proficiency is extraordinary. It's simply too far removed from what I've come to know through following the way of the sword. 
No doubt. Really? Yeah, all things considered, Fee's strength is totally improbable for someone her size. Oh, so he he's saying, you say, you're way too strong for someone that small. He's like, something's not right. Like, tell me what's going on. She's like, tell me about your past, and I want to know all of it. To add to that, you were once part of a Jaeger Corps. I can't say I've ever thought of the Jaegers in a particularly favorable light. If one defines knighthood as the way of the virtuous, how can the path of the Jaeger be seen as anything but corrupt? I came to believe that because we'd been raised with such strongly opposing values, I could not accept you. <laughs> She's like, well, this is awkward. However, I was mistaken. <laughs> After hearing Elliot's story, I asked myself again why it was that I felt such resistance to fighting alongside you. I tried to ascertain my own feelings, slowly and carefully. And that was when I finally realized, during all these months we spent together, I've known deep down that you were worthy of my trust. Our values had nothing to do with that judgment. It came from my heart alone. <sighs> but in my stubbornness, I refused to acknowledge that one simple truth. In my heart, I had already deemed you worthy of trust. Yet in my mind, I still couldn't see past our incompatibilities. I suspect that contradiction was what prevented us from using our Arcus to fight as one. <laughs> so, that's how it was. Did you know about this? Yeah, I noticed during our fight with that monster earlier. You weren't the only one who thought we couldn't get along. You live your life so... honestly. I guess somewhere along the way I'd given up on you ever accepting me. I see. Still, what does this have to do with wanting to know about my pack? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's very simple, really. I want to know because I like you. <laughs> She's like, oh, not it. She's like, what are you? What is this? What is this that you speak of? I find it frustrating when I'm not able to understand those I've taken an interest in or have a high opinion of. I felt like this several months ago with Reem, and I feel the same way now. That's why I want to know your history. I want to know what shaped you into who you are now. That said, this is simply an act of self-indulgence on my part. Nothing more, nothing- <sighs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. That's our lore, all right. You really are something else. It's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it's fine. Because I have no intention of thinking of my reward as a spoil of battle. I'd much rather consider it an honor, bestowed for a hard-won victory. Fine by me. You just talk things out. Why do you even need to fight now? <laughs> He's like, you guys just had a whole heart to heart. He's like, why do you guys want to still fight? <laughs> it's just the way they are. All right, I'll officiate your duel. Neither of you need to hold anything back. If I think it's getting too dangerous, I'll step in and stop the fight. Very well. Thanks. Oh my god, they're going Super Saiyan! Uh. My god! And she's fighting in heels! Oh, we're actually gonna watch the fight, it's not just gonna pan through, okay. Neat! Using all the moves. the boss
Yeah, they're both about to use their freaking s crush chain. He goes, that's enough. Okay, you all, y'all, y'all gone too far. All right, stop. I, I, I couldn't even tell who won. What about you, Reen? I feel bad saying this after volunteering to be the judge, but as far as I could tell, it was a draw. Really? Huh. Well, I suppose it is what it is. I'll simply have to continue my training and challenge you again another time. And don't forget, I still wish to duel you as well. Wait, why me? <laughs> He's like, why? <laughs> Honestly. Actually, I lost this one. Huh? Jaegers are at our best when we fight at night. The darkness gives us an edge. But even after I threw out a flash grenade, the duel still ended in a draw. If we'd fought during the day, I would have lost. That's... She has a point. I Me, mean, I can't fight oh. that logic. She's practically a ninja. She's like, in my element, I still couldn't beat you. It is, and he's end up as a draw. It is my loss. Very well. I'll accept this victory. Hmm. Well, anyway, I guess the two of us should go for a little stroll then. I don't mind if you listen. Is that fine with you, Laura? I have no objections. We're all in this together. Okay. Oh, she's about to tell us our backstory. I used to be part of a Jaeger Corps called Zephyr. Before that, my earliest memories are of explosions and battlefields. So she was pretty much born on the battlefield, which is something. I found myself wandering in a war-torn hotspot on the outskirts of some country I never even knew the name of. Jaeger Corps threw themselves into battle for the highest bidder day after day, while I wandered alone. The man who eventually took me in called himself the Jaeger King. The Jaeger King? That must be the boss. He was the leader of Zephyr, a pretty famous Jaeger Corps. He was middle-aged, crafty, stubborn, and lucky. He always seemed so carefree, but he never let his guard down. To me, though, he was the closest thing to a father I've ever had. The other members of Zephyr had their quirks, but they were all nice to me. As time went on, I started helping with the cleaning, the cooking, the packing. During my free time, they started teaching me all kinds of skills I'd need to survive on the battlefield. One thing led to another, and I ended up fighting in my first real battle. I was 10, I think. Holy crap, she was 10 in her first real battle? I was reluctant, but after the others persuaded him, he made me a full-fledged member of the group. Yeah, like, if he's acting as your father figure, you, you, to him, you're like his only daughter. So he's like, I don't want to put my baby on the battlefield. You... For the next few years, we lived and fought together. I even picked up a nickname like some career Jaegers do. Sylphied. We roamed all across the continent together. There were hard times. Times when we thought we might not live through the night, but we always did. Together. Until last year, when our boss <gasps> died. No! Why? 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 Why can't any of the parent figures, guardians, or parents just live? Can we just have... Yeah, can we just have any parents that belong to our class, like, both live? Or guardians just live? Why do they all got to die? Like, what? what's... What's up with this tragic backstory every freaking time? It was a clash with another Jaeger Corps, the Red Constellation. People used to say they were the only other Jaeger Corps in West Zemuria who could match us. Their leader, a guy they called the War God, had been on bad the War terms God. with the boss for years. Eventually, the War God and the Jaeger King decided to settle things with one big duel. They kept going for three days and three nights. In the end, they both fell. Oh, they both died. After that, the Zephyr I'd grown up with disbanded. 
all the members who were left just kind of scattered. I don't know where they went. Then, just like that, I was alone again. Huh. I... I don't know what to say. After that, you ended up coming to the Academy? Yeah, how did that happen? Sarah. I was wondering what I'd do next. Sarah showed up. She said she'd been following the situation between Zephyr and the Red Constellation. That's how we first met. I told her about what happened, and she dragged me to the Academy. She introduced me to the principal, and after that, well, you know the rest. That's quite a history. Yeah, he's like, what do you say to that? Listening to you tell your story really brings into focus how limited my view of the world has been. But I feel like I finally know you. There's still so much more I want to learn, of course, but at least this gives me a base to build on. How about it? Care to mix things up a little? Oh. Let's do it. What? <laughs> like, no! Oh, come on. Should have known. I guess I've had this coming since the practical exam, huh? Well, it's at your discretion, of course. I doubt either of us has the energy to fight at our peak, but we'll give it a try. You've got to be kidding me! We haven't got a chance against them! <laughs> Oh my on, god. This is a good opportunity to see what they can really do, right? Let's just think of this as a little bonus for our field study. Give it the best we've got. Uh, fine. But I don't intend to hold back. So I expect no less from both of you. <laughs> you have my thanks. Here we go. I'm not going to hold back. Fine, I'll do it. He's like, fine, I'll do it. Lord and Fee can now link with one another. Finally. Okay. Oh, I can't do anything. She has nothing. I didn't see this coming. Oh my god. Like, let's give her... Wait. Hang in there, everyone. Don't heal Please. him. Okay. There you go. All right, so one nice. down. My turn. Shatter. Off guard. Feed. Let's do right. this. Hi. 
I knew it was gonna go for her. I knew it. Right. Come on, one more hit and he should go down. Yes. Should have seen that coming. We should keep going. Vengeance. We, we did it. <laughs> Barely. It's like they're off in their own little world. <laughs> I think we've just witnessed the birth of an unstoppable duo. Hey, what are you four doing? <laughs> Rude! It's the police! Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Students, are you from one of the local high schools? We received reports of a group causing a terrible racket in the park. What in Adios' name were you doing? <laughs> well, you see, if what happened was... Uh, please, sir, that, this isn't what it might... There's a perfectly reasonable, uh, though admittedly rather complicated explanation for all of this. Um, we're very sorry for any trouble we've caused. We tried to minimize the disturbance to others, but it seems we weren't totally successful there. Hmm. Perhaps dueling in the park wasn't as good of an idea as it first seemed. Maybe the underground tunnels would have been better. You know, it's a little late for such deep insights. Besides, who do you think were the ones who started this? Don't just act like you're some innocent bystanders. <laughs> and then we were arrested. Lord and Fee reached Link level 2. Yay, good for them. Oh, up in yes. the world. I finished all the missions this time. A reward here for you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Ellie's gonna be like, what the hell happened last <laughs> He missed all the action. still asleep no they're probably wake they're in a jail cell right now your friends got arrested last it's night it was time for quite the party oh it's you Elliot sorry we didn't mean to keep you waiting w what's wrong you look exhausted <laughs> it might say we had a pretty eventful night look at these geriatrics on the other hand, as you can see, we have gusto to spare. Isn't that right, Fee? <laughs> and you call yourselves men. My god. You two just waltz around like that after last night. I, are you even human? Oh, oh, just calm down. Wow, what the heck did you guys do last night? The two of you look like you've been chased around town by wolves, but Fee and Laura are all buddy-buddy now. Yeah, we'll catch you up on that later. First things first, let's grab the list of today's tasks from the mailbox. Uh... He's like, I am so confused. Rain took today's tasks from the Guildhouse mailbox and everyone walked to Elliot's house. At Fiona's insistence, they decided to have breakfast before taking a look at their tasks for the day. Wow, so that's what happened yesterday after you guys left. I feel all left out now. Haha, <laughs> you have our apologies, but listening to you talk about your resolve yesterday strengthened my own. I simply couldn't wait any longer. We'll treat you to something later. Consider yourself lucky you didn't have to endure two hours of police questioning afterward like we did. Oh, so that's why y'all seem so tired. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's not the lack of sleep that gets you, it's the mental fatigue. So, did you receive another packet of tasks from the governor? Yep, probably deliver first thing this morning before we e even awake. We'll look at them once we finished our breakfast. Agreed. 
<laughs> Make sure you get plenty of heat so you'll have lots of energy the day ahead. And there's plenty more where that came from if you man if you can manage it. Port monster. <laughs> what is this one? Oh no! No no no! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Looks like we've got a ver verity today, too. Yeah, one of them looks like it'll take us to an area we didn't get to see yesterday. Yep, that monster extermination request from Hamdar Port. We shouldn't have any problems getting there on the tramps. Same for Minor Park, where we were yesterday. We'll likely have to visit a number of locations today as well. I'm considering that the festival begins tomorrow. I'll expect the city will be buzzing with excitement. Still, no need to rush. Hehe, <laughs> well, take care, everyone. It'll be fun just walking around watching as everyone puts the finishing touches on the decorations. Right. Right, right. Thanks, it's... Thank you so much for, for making this right. Oh my god, I keep stuttering. Alright, let's get started. These jobs aren't going to do themselves. Or will they? Oh, oh that was very eventful. And we'll get to those tasks in the next video. I'm definitely gonna go after that. Oh, oh, no, no, task first because that one was the funniest. I'm like, what? What kind of task is that? How do you write a letter to name that? But we learned a lot about Fee and Laura. I know Laura's gonna do her freaking backstory. So is Machias because I, who's left? Who hasn't given us a backstory? Re oh. Technically, Ring did give us his backstory technically kind of like he didn't mean to but he did i don't know if he's going to go deeper in it later in the story but i think machius and laura hmm. are the only two left who haven't given us their tragic backstories because you know they're probably going to be tragic because everybody else's backstory has been tragic as hell but we'll get all into that in the next video and i'll see you guys then bye see you later